I welcome you all in the next video tutorial of HP Board of Departmental Examination. So dear all, in this video, we are going to cover some of the important sections of Competition Act 2002. So before starting, this is for educational purposes only. There is no commercialization involved. Please refer to standard rule and regulation in case of any deviations. So let's start. Here it is, the important sections of Competition Act 2002. Competition Act chapter section and relates to what? So chapter number one, section number two, I. Here is a mentioning of the definition of goods. I hope you remember the point in which the goods are defined in the section 2, chapter number 1, under I part. Second one, chapter number 1, section 2L. So here is the definition of person. A person may be an individual, Hindu, undivided family, a company, a firm, association. I hope you remember local authority, even the cooperative society. So sab so section 2R, I am leaving this blank to, I hope you remember, please recall the, your previous knowledge that you have watched previous videos. What is section 2R represent? So yes, it is the relevant market, if you are talking about. And what is section 2S represents? Please again recall, is it relevant market or is it relevant geographic market. I hope this is clear to you. And what is this? Again, it represents a geographical market, relevant market or what? So it is nothing but relevant product market. I hope you remember. This is very important question. And section to you represent nothing but services. And we know services mean a description which is made available to the potential users and includes the provision of services in connection with business of any industrial or commercial matters such as banking, communication, education, financing, even the real estate, transport, storage, etc. Now, let's see section number two, chapter number two, section three, that is the anti-competitive agreement. These are very, very important. So again, chapter number two, section three, anti-competitive agreement. Section four deals with abuse of dominant position. This question was asked several times in previous examination. So these two, you have to remember anti-competitive agreements and abuse of dominant position. Section six represents the regulation of combination. Now chapter number three, section seven represent the establishment of commission. And chapter number three, again, section eight, composition of commission. Chapter number four, section number 19 represent inquiry into certain agreements and dominant position of enterprise chapter 4 20 section number 20 inquiry into combination by commission now section 26 procedure for inquiry under section 19 again this is again asked several times section 26 is important section 29 procedure for investigation of combination section 32 acts taking place outside india but having an effect on competition in india this question again have been asked several times so you have to remember section number 32 and over here section 26 these are important section 35 appearance before commission chapter number 5 section 41 deals with director general to investigate contraventions chapter number 6 again very important deals with the penalties and in the section 42 there is a mentioning of contravention of orders of commission 42a deals the composition in case of contravention of orders of commission this is again important 43 section deals with the penalty for failure to comply with directions of commission and director general 43a deals with the power to impose penalty for known furnishing of information on combination section 44 deals with the penalty for making false statement or omission to furnish material information chapter 40 chapter number 6 to so chapter number 6 45 again very important penalty for offense in relation to furnishing of information and lastly again chapter number 6 46 section deals with power to impose lesser penalty so this is the index that you have to remember i hope this is clear to you please remember again definitions are very very important and the competitive agreement abuse of dominant position you have to remember this because these type of question are asked several times and also the composition and establishment under chapter 3 of competition act 2002 under section 7 and 8 and also the different type of provisions related to the duties powers and responsibilities as well as lastly the penalty part is also important that is mentioned under chapter number 6 under different sections like 42 42a 43 
43a 44 45 so these are very important and one time question was asked also related to the impose of lesser penalty this is mentioned in section 46 chapter number 6 under penalties so i hope this will give you a brief idea thank you for valuable time